Alright, so this is going to demonstrate how to create uh, MARC records from other metadata formats. Specifically, we're going to look at the EAD format here. Um, and what we have is we have an EAD record, it's right here. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this up, and you can see an example. You now, this is the EAD record, it was created um, by our OSU archives. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this record and we're going to generate a MARC record from it, um, basically a collection level record. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to open up Mark Edit and go into the Mark Breaker. And in Mark Edit, you will find that there is already defined for you an EAD to Mark translation right here. I'm going to use um, an OSU EAD translation because this has a few specific fields defined for OSU. Um, we set the file that we want to process, which is this one. Uh, we want to save file here, so we're going to do this one right here. And from there we're going to go ahead and translate it. And one record's been created. So now we can drag this into the screen so we can see it. And we'll go ahead and take a look at it. And what we will find here, let's execute it, is that this is what the record looks like. It took that EAD record and it translated it into MARC using a set of criteria that we've provided um, at OSU. And if you look, that you'll see that um, in addition, you know, it's, it's gone through and it's made changes. It's guess delimiters for fields um, and then inserted uh, 856s which weren't present. So we have all of the stuff that's been done on the EAD record. And so it's not a perfect translation by any means, most likely. Um, users who create these records still have to just take a quick look and evaluate the data. But it gives you a, a, a very good first start for the record. All right, but that isn't as far as you have to go. You can actually do this, use the same process to do other things. So I'm going to add a metadata tool here. And we're going to add one for OSU EAD to Mark XML. Now in Mark Edit, Mark XML is used as kind of the uh, the base language for all uh, style sheets. And so if you translate your style sheets to Mark XML, then by default you can actually translate your translate your metadata schemes into just about anything else that Mark Edit understands. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a two-step process that's going to allow us to translate this EAD record into Dublin Core. So we start by selecting the OSU, uh, where we go? All right, OSU EAD to Mark XML. We will select our EAD record, which is right. Oops. right here and then we're going to save it as an XML file so this is going to be our mark XML file and so we save it and then we go ahead and do the translation and let's take a quick look at that file so that's this one right here that's been generated let's look at it and so we see that it's been translated into mark XML and then from here, we can take this Mark XML file and we can translate it into anything else that, uh, that Mark Edit supports. So I've already done one for Mark XML to um, Dublin Core. So now we can take that file that we just worked on and we'll select it and we can translate it into Dublin Core. do that one. So now what we have is we have a record here that's been translated from EAD into uh, Dublin Core and so we get a translation. Now you can do the exact same process with any other um, metadata scheme the market that understands. So that would be something like mods or EAD or um, OAI, uh, there's a FGDC, there's a variety of formats that I've seeded MarkEdit with and then you can add your own um, and even contribute those back to the MarkEdit user community. So um, 
it's a pretty interesting function that uh, allows you to do a, a number of different things with the application and using the API you can actually string together translations so it's not a multi-step process if you need to script it for batch processing so but uh, that that gives you a good idea of some of the um, the functionality that you can get uh, with MarkEdit um, using the uh, XML translation function.